I think a man needs to be on his purpose first too. Exactly. And you got to be on your mission. Your mission got to be first, and your purpose got to be first. You know what I'm saying? And you can't put anything in front of your mission and your purpose and your dreams. And you can't, you know, what you don't want to do is put yourself in a position where you're, you're tiptoeing and, and crawling behind a, a, a woman who you love, as opposed to putting your mission and your purpose first. Because if you put your mission and your purpose first, you'll be able to take care of your family. You'll be able to take. That's why, I like on a plane, they say put your oxygen mask on first, first. then take, take care, care of the, the person kid. next. You take care so, of you, yeah, take, take care, care of your nobody. mission. And it's a lot here for that. I'm on a new, uh, a new device here. So first and foremost, I'm going to say, uh, give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akar Kadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect. And much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. It's Brother Aviar coming at you with another lesson. Okay? And, you know, in the video right there, you know, that was a uh, LL Cool J and Mike Tyson. I guess they was on a podcast or whatever. Okay? And what he was saying, it resonated with me, man, because that's the... Uh, the mentality that you know we need to have and it's truth man playing from moto g6 play you know this is the mentality that we need to have man as far as you know knowing what our goal is you know what we're trying to obtain you know where we're trying to get okay and knowing you know what 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 the, what the importance of pushing this word is man and not being distracted by you know the outside world man or even our families man i remember uh last week i was in camp with uh the brothers of newark camp uh gms newark and i was telling them like you know it's best to not not to get attached to your family like that man okay because you know of course we pray that you know through the grace of the, of the Heavenly Father that, you know, He preserves them and saves them, man. But for the most part, you know, our families are not believers, okay? So at any given time, they can get taken away from us, man, okay? And it's all, it's a test, you know? So this, this, uh, this, this lesson right here is just, you know, speaking of staying focused, man, and keeping our eyes on the prize, man. This is Sarak and Salaki. I know this is probably not going to be as smooth <laughs> as the other ones, man. Because, like I said, this is a new, uh, new device here, man. You know, the phone was trash. Okay. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus forty-three and thirty. When ye, glor when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for ye can never go far enough, man. Okay? So no matter what we do, we can always do a whole lot more, man. Alright? But the main message of this, of this lesson is just stay focused, man. Don't worry about women. Don't worry about, you know, your children. Just worry and focus on his truth, man. Okay? Give diligence, you know, to make your calling and election sure, man. Right? That's all you really need to be focused on, man. That's it. You know, I quit my job to focus more on his truth, man. You know, I'm not, I'm not worried about money and, you know, I'm not worried about, you know, advancing in, in in this world man because we you know this world is about to be destroyed man it's coming faster than we think man we go to collagens do i want collagens yeah i do want collagens collagens three i'm gonna read 22 and 24 and it says, servants, obey in all things your masters, your masters according to the flesh, 
not with eye service as man pleases, but in singleness of heart, fearing the Most High. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Right? So whatever we're doing, man, regardless of what it is, you always want to give 100%. You always want to do your best, man. All right? But when it comes to this truth, you want to get a, you want to give a thousand percent, right? But you don't want you don't want to do it because you want to impress men, okay? You want to do it to so that it's pleasing to the heavenly Father, man. That's the most important thing, man. Right? A lot of men, you know, a lot of dudes want to be men pleasers, man. They want the approval of men. You know, forgetting that you know the 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 ultimate approval that you want is from the heavenly father man not from men all right i'm gonna go to i'm gonna try to make this quick too i'm gonna go to uh first timothy uh chapter two nope i don't want first i want second timothy salakia chapter 2 and I'm going to read uh, 1 through 12 okay thou therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in the anointed Yahweh Shai and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Okay? That's our ultimate goal. That's our ultimate goal is to please Yahweh Shai, man. Because he's the mediator, man. We can't get to the Heavenly Father but through him, man. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, man. Yahweh Shai has chosen us to be soldiers, man. And that's what we ought to be, soldiers, man. Soldiers are diligent. Soldiers focus on the mission at hand. Fo uh, soldiers don't waver. Soldiers don't worry about, you know, what's going out, going on in the world, man. They focus on what is in right in front of them, man. That's what soldiers do. And if a man also strive for masteries, Yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Wherein I suffered, I suffered trouble as an evildoer, un, even unto bonds. But the word of the Most High is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in the anointed Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us man okay so yeah we're gonna suffer in this flesh man it's gonna be a lot of things going on man a lot of a lot of heartache man right a lot of uh obstacles man you know it's gonna be a lot of uh death you know that brothers deal with man you know just a lot of bullshit that you got to deal with when you in this truth man but you cannot let it you can't let it uh you know take you out of out of this mind state man you can't let it have you wavering you can't sub, you can't succumb to the things that are happening to you man you know you're supposed to take it cheerfully man you smile in the face of adversity man that's the best thing to do when adversity comes your way you smile in the face of that adversity man You know, you, you when demons try to jump on you and try to tell you you're not a man of the Lord, right? You a wicked ass nigga. You know, you got to rebuke those demons, man. You got to get them demons off you, man. 
Don't ever have that doubt spirit, man. Don't let that doubt spirit overtake you, man. Now, I'm talking to myself as well. You got to fight against that doubt, that doubt spirit, man. And know that the ultimate goal, right? Is to be saved up out of here, man. And the rule in the kingdom with your house shy, man. That is the ultimate goal right there, man. And that's what we are all striving and pushing for, man. You know, and this is for like, you know, the brothers that's been in this thing, you know, not, not a long time, man. You know, I only been in this thing, maybe, you know, I only had my, my hand to the plow for like almost two years now. Okay, it'll be two years in October, right? But I'm talking about the brothers that's just coming in, right? Because that doubt demon is going to get on you, man. That demon is going to be saying, yo, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're talking about, right? Ain't nobody going to listen to you, you know? But at the end of the day, you just got to build yourself up through the spirit, put your head down, and keep pushing forward, man. All right? I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. I'm going to read uh, 9 and... 24 and 25 it says know ye not that they which run in a race run all but one receiveth the prize so run that ye may obtain and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we an incorruptible and that reminds me of the video that I just played, right? Because L.O. Cool J was talking about, you know, you can't worry about your woman and you can't worry about this and that. You just got to focus on the goal at hand. But he was talking about an uh, incorruptible, I mean, a uh, corruptible crown, right? He was talking about worldly shit, man. You know, what, what I'm speaking of is spiritual, man. I'm not talking about carnal things. And that, those are the things that he was talking about obtaining, okay? I'm talking about this incorruptible crown right here, man. These are the, this is the thing that we are striving for, man. As, you know, as men in this faith, okay. And every man that's striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible, okay. So we don't focus on trying to get a whole bunch of money, right? Trying to get a, a, you know, a big ass house, trying to get the, you know, the latest car, you know? We're not focused on trying to get, you know, the, the, the most high paying job. We're not focused on trying to get a damn degree from from college, right? We, we're not, we're not, we're not focused on that, man. All we're focused on is trying to build ourselves up in the faith, right? Build our spirit, Right, do things that are pleasing to the heavenly Father, trying to offend Him less, more and more every day, man. Right, trying to you know study, read, you know do lessons, go go on the highways and byways every Saturday. These are the things that we work about, that we worry about, man. These are the things that we do day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out. These are the things that we. That, that are that are important to us, man, right? And if those things are important to you, right, then there's a good chance that you're of the elect, man. If that's what you leave, that if that's what you breathe, eat, and you already know I ain't going to say it, right, then it's possible you are of the elect, man, if you on fire for this truth. All right, I'm going to go to... uh. I want first Corinthians. I want the uh, second Corinthians. Uh, no, matter of fact, first Corinthians ten and thirty one, and it says, "Whether therefore ye eat or drink or what's up, whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of the Most High." Man, so no matter what we do, man, all that matters is doing it for the Heavenly Father, man. That's all that matters. Salakia.
Playing from Moto G6 Play. Now disconnected from Moto G6 Play. That's all that matters, man. It's doing what we're supposed to do for the Heavenly Father. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, all do now all to the to glory play. of the Heavenly Father, man. Salakia, man, these devices is going crazy. Salakia for that. Okay? That's all we want to do, man. We want to do things that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father, man. You know, that's all we worry about, man. You know, that's this is what this truth is what we eat. This truth is what we drink, man. Whatever we do or whatever we see, right, we apply it to the scriptures, man. And that's how we are supposed to live our lives, you know, according to the doctrine, man. All right. Let me go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs. Uh, I'm going to go three and six real quick. Right. It says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths, man. Right? So that backs up what I just read, man. If you acknowledge the Heavenly Father in all your ways, right? He will direct your paths, man. He will he will direct you in 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 the you know in the in the way to go, man. In the righteous way to go. Right? He he'll direct you in the light, man. He won't direct you down a dark road, man. Okay? He'll direct you down a, a brightly lit road man but you gotta apply this these scriptures and this word and this doctrine to every phase of your life man okay we go to proverbs 4 i'm gonna read 23 through 27 and it says keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil, man. Okay? So you just gotta, you gotta go straight forward, man. There's no making no left, no right. You know, just go straight forward, man. And make sure that any evil that come around you, you fucking, you run from it, man. Okay? Run from it. Know what your goal is, man. Know what your ultimate goal is in this truth, man. Okay? And all of us, we have the same goal, man. We want salvation. We don't want to die here. We don't want to burn here, man. Right? We want to rule right next to Yahweh Shai and King David, man. In the kingdom. In the righteous kingdom, man. These are the things that we strive that we're striving for, man. Okay? So you gotta keep your eyes single, man. Alright, I'm almost done. You know, Salakia, man, if I'm uh, rambling a lot. Like I said, it's a new device, so I'm like, you know, eh, it's not gonna be as smooth, but I'll get used to it and you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want proverb. Do I want proverbs again? No, I want Psalms. I want Psalms. Psalms uh, 1 and one through 3, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper, man. Okay? So don't walk, don't walk, you know, don't don't be around these worldly motherfuckers, man. That's not the way to go, man. You know? I wouldn't go around, you know, in no cookout or, or nothing around these people, man. You know, my wife just said, you know, my 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 um my niece is having a, a 90s themed birthday party. Right? Can you, y'all, uh, she invited you. You want to come? And it's tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So when I get home from, from camp, right? It'll be the Sabbath, man. 
And I'm like, yo, this is a test right here, man. I'm like, I'm not going. I'm not going to that, man. You know what I'm saying? And I told my I told my wife I'd think about it, but then I was just like, hold up, nah, that's gonna be the Sabbath. Right? Nah, I'm going home, man. You know, cause in cause they got demons on them anyway, man. You know, the best thing to do is just have a, a solitary life, man. You know, and keep to yourself, man. And unless you're around the brotherhood, keep to yourself, man. No need to be around worldly people, man. You don't want you don't want their demons to jump on you. Right? But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law doth he meditate day and night, man. You know, these scriptures is what we're supposed to meditate on day and night, man. These scriptures are what we are to apply to our lives, man. Right? It's better to to uh to practice that now because when all hell break loose, right? These are the things that we're going to have to apply in order to make it through, man. You know? We're going to have to apply these scriptures to 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 a lot of situations that we're going to come across, man. So it's it's best to practice that now, man. Applying these scriptures to your life, man. All right, so I'm going to go do uh Let's go to Proverbs the first chapter. I'm trying to make this quick, man. Proverbs the first chapter. Uh I want 10 through 18. It says, My son of sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us let us wait for blood, let us lurk priv privately for the innocent without you, without cause. Let me read that again. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lurk privately for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as a grave and whole as those that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path, for their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, and they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privately for their own lives. Okay? And that's just to back up the other scriptures that I brought out, man. Don't don't be around these, these worldly people, man. Right? Because even though your intention is not to do any evil or anything like that, you could still be guilty by association, man. Something could pop off, and then you can get arrested right along with them, man. Why? Because you're around them. Okay? And you leave yourself a susceptible, right, to that when you being around these worldly people, man. That's why it's better to just live a solitary life and stay to yourself, man. Okay, I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm almost done. I want Psalms 34 and 10 real quick. Uh, Psalms 34, 34 and 10, right? It says the lions, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing, man. Okay? So if you out here, you seeking the Lord, you're not going to want anything. You're not going to want to be around people. You're not going to want the company of these people, man. Okay? If you're seeking the Lord, the Lord is going to give you everything that's sufficient for you. Okay? You're not going to, you're not going to want or need anything, man. The Lord will provide, man. At the end of the day, man. You know, the Lord will put you around people that you're supposed to be around. He'll put you in the places that you're supposed to be. And he'll have you walking in the paths that you are supposed to be walking, man. Okay? And that's just plain and simple right there. Let's go to Hebrews. I got a couple more.
I'm going to go to the book of Hebrews 3. I'm going to read 1 through 6 real quick. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, profession, uh, the anointed Yahweh Shai, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who had uh, built the house had more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is the most high. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But the anointed as a son over his own house, whose house we, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Spirit saith, today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in provocation in the day of temptation in, in the wilderness, man. Okay. I just wanted to read uh, one through six, but I kept going. Right. But this is the point, man. But the but Yahweh Shai, as a son over his own house, whose house we are, and we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end, man. Okay? So you got to stay firm unto the end and know, know what your ultimate goal is, man. Okay? Because us brothers in this ministry, we are the house of the Lord, of the Lord man. Okay? We are the house of Yahweh Shai. So we got to know, you know, what we want, man. We got to know what our ultimate goal is, man. And I'm about to get into what our ultimate goal is, man. Right? I got three more for you. Okay? And I'm out your head. All right? First Timothy. I'm on First Timothy chapter 6. I'm going to read 11 through 12. And it says, But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession uh, before many witnesses, man. Okay? Let's go to 2 Timothy real quick. Uh, 4 and 7 and 8. Yeah, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing, man. Okay? This is the ultimate goal right here, man. This is what we want. We want that crown of righteousness, man. Right? Right now, we're fighting a good fight. You know, we throwing light, we throwing rights, lefts, uppercuts, kneecaps, elbows, all that, man. Right? We fighting. We scrapping right now, man. You know? And at the end of all of this fighting and all of this suffering, man, that we going through, at the end of that road, man, is a is a crown of righteousness, man, waiting for us. Okay? I'm going to go with my last one right here. This is second Ezra's. Second Ezra's uh, chapter 2 and 42 through 45. You know, because this is the ult this is the goal right here, man. It says, I saw and I Edris saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs, and in the midst of them. There was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High, now are they crowned 
and receive palms, man. So this is the ultimate goal right here, man. This is why we are doing what we're doing day in and day out, man, right? To get that crown of righteousness, man. To have your Howard Shai look you in the eye and crown you and say, I'm proud of you, man. Good job. Good job. You stayed, you stayed in there to the end, man. You didn't quit. You didn't give up on me, man. You kept going. You kept pushing forward, man. That's the ultimate goal, man. It's truth. Right? So, Lord willing, uh, this lesson was edifying, and I want to say shalom to the next one.